Hello and welcome to the This Gen Show episode number, what are we on even now? Six? Six. Wow. This is on. This Give or take. No, it's not five. It's six. It's six. Is it? It's six. This is wow. honestly a little impressive that we lasted this long. I can't wow. believe we haven't been canceled yet. What? <laughs> Producers just keep giving us money. I don't know why. I don't know. There's no, loads of money. Not sponsored. <laughs> hey, but if you'd like to sponsor us, we are willing to take it. Ninja, you should go watch Bowling for Smoothies. Great use of your product. Any chicken place, we're in on. Hello okay? Kitty, go back and watch the Try Not to Laugh video. Like Goldfish, Animal Crackers, Pokemon, any of Pokemon. them. Pokemon. We'll take all Pokemon. Of them. Pokemon. Anyways, Pokemon. my Boo. name's Clay. I'm Jacob. And I'm Ashley. <laughs> And we're going to have a great time today. We have a couple segments waiting for you. First one is Conversations with Clay. Then it is Game Time with Jacob. And then it's Dorman's Debate. So excited for this. It's going to be a great day. And, guys, i got a great conversation to have with you guys. Oh, great. Oh, great. <laughs> it's a zombie apocalypse. Great. Yes! Ugh. What's your go-to weapon? Oh. <laughs> this is easy for the Dorman compound. We'll, we'll say you get one weapon. Need to think. You get one weapon, and then if I we need to talk weapon. about escape plan or bunker down a technique, we'll go to that. Come to my house. Yeah. So I asked my husband this earlier. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of random conversations do you get in with your husband? You mentioned this at one point, so I was like, I'm going to text him. All right, so he said, uh, probably, I said, what weapon would you choose as your primary choice of a zombie apocalypse? This is completely normal conversation for my family. So probably a solid bill, AR-15. If allowable, I'd have an 18 something SPR upper with a LPVO in a point two two three. Why, like, okay. why does he send me so these basically things? Yeah. Clay would go with our flamethrower, though, wouldn't you? That or nunchucks. <laughs> I think nunchucks would be awesome. I would go with a Hattori Hanzo katana. Oh, I got my new answer. Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> I, like, why do you choose a katana? Well, one, if a zombie apocalypse is coming at that point, I'm just like, all right. This is obviously my time to go because I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm I'm not lasting long. Yeah, like if I'm gonna go out, I'm at least gonna go out slicing and dicing in, in a really cool way, because my it kind of doesn't lead to my escape plan. But my escape plan would to be to steal a cruise ship and take steal it out. Steal a middle cruise of the ship. Ocean. I like that move a because lot. Because think about it, they have food for thousands of people. For a week at a time. What if somebody got infected and you didn't realize it and they're on your cruise ship? If I can't cut down the amount of people that are on a cruise ship with my katana, then I don't deserve to That's survive true. anyway. That's true. Then it's just me. I read for my answer because it, it, I, I'm not I like your answer, answer a lot. That was a great answer. <laughs> I was going to say lightsaber, but. <laughs> oh, if we could go with like. <laughs> Let's be honest. We all know lightsabers actually exist. They've created them somewhere. I know like in Area 51, there is for sure lightsabers. I have zero doubt about this in my mind. I fully believe lightsabers actually exist. We just don't know about it yet. All right. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to steal a... You know what? We're going to keep it simple. I'm not even going to steal a car. I'm just going to take the old, the old Pathfinder. We're going to just go on a little journey. You know where I'm going to go on a journey to? My house. Because people are going to look in all the like, typical big spots, right? So what's going to happen is people are going to go to like Walmart. They're going to go to like big lots. They're going to go to You should come to our Bass house. We Pro have Shop. like See, buckets and buckets of mac and cheese stored. Too many people are going to come to your house. It's a danger zone. We have all the foods it, and more it, people to protect. It, you got a great spot. I'm going to lie. But here's the thing. People we have just, a fence for Cubby. People are just going to knock themselves. Oh, that's a good play. Gotcha. People are just going to kind of knock themselves out. Uh, by going to these big retail spots, if I just grab my lightsaber and go to my house, like, ain't nobody checking my house. Nobody knows where my house is. Nobody cares where I my do. house is. You are going to be on a cruise ship. I did steal a cruise ship. Cap Single-handedly. <laughs> is it <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow would, over you here? You would steal a Disney cruise ship, wouldn't you? Oh, the Disney magic? Just got better. Yes. All right, moving on. <laughs> I think it's time for game time with Jacob. It's time for game time with Jacob. So today we are playing a game called Password. Mattress. Dang it. That's the password. That was the one password. All right. Cheetos commercial. Norman's debates. Bologna and cheese. All right. So the way this game is going to work, each of our contestants have five cards here. We may not get to all of them due to time limitations, but they're going to read their word or phrase, and they can only use one word. That 
Ooh. Is it a synonym? I feel great about this. It can be a word that's inside of the word or phrase. Clay, can you say synonym? Synonym. <laughs> <laughs> Cinnamon. <laughs> Go back to the previous episode and watch Clay say pistachios. Pistachios. So. They're going to make their guess. If it's wrong, the next person will go. They'll go back and forth until they get through them. Okay. So. Okay. Ashley, Ooh. you go first. Okay. Do I show? Oh, no. man. It'll flash up on the screen. Oh. Ooh, you get all fancy. Okay. One word. Oh. Oh. Videos. Blockbuster. Nope. Go. <laughs> Diarrhea. <laughs> smoothies. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Bowling for smoothies, shout yeah, out. Go back to the original one. Oh, oh, I keep going. Yeah, you keep going. Okay. You remember the last one already? Remember my clue from the last one? Videos. Okay, okay. And I guess Blockbuster. <laughs> um, it's so relevant. Gen Z. It's two words. Tell you what, videos and Gen Z. Sorry. These are not the highest quality. YouTube. No. Burrito. <laughs> Taco Bell. Yeah. All right. You get to move on. So okay. On, you're still on this. Okay. Clock. What? Is that at me or him? Netflix. All right. I'll give you one word. Renegade. TikTok. Whatever. I'll do your next one. <laughs> Leave me alone. Thank you. <laughs> Walt. Disney World? No. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Starbucks. Coffee. Marsupial. <laughs> Walt? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's actually the right term. <laughs> <laughs> you just like saying marsupial. <laughs> It's so fun to say. How many times have you said marsupial in a video? <laughs> oh well, at least three times. You said it in this gin show like twice already. Uh, panda bear. It's a mammal. I know. I, but you don't know what a marsupial means, so I was just going off of that. I love how I wrote these down because I thought you would Okay, okay, okay. okay. Fall. Football. I forgot. The first one was Starbucks. <laughs> Pumpkin spice latte. Yes. Oh God, it just <laughs> rodent. <laughs> you get the first clue. What? Oh, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> there you go. Let's do one more each. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Ponytail. Rapunzel. <sighs> she does not wear a ponytail. Why, why would I know that? Horse squirrels. <laughs> what? <laughs> Horse squirrels? <laughs> what is that? That's not for this. I was making a joke towards what? yours. Okay, here's mine. Potter. I want to say Hogwarts, but I don't know what you're trying to get me to say. No. I'm sorry. If I do my eyes like this, and you think of a ponytail. <laughs> uh, singer. Ariana Grande. Yes! <laughs> Which? Hermione. Okay. Wand. Am I really missing this? Mm. I feel like I've guessed great things. <laughs> Merlin. H Harry. Gandalf. Dumbledore. <laughs> what is happening? Wait, we went to Lord of the Rings. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Your clues are terrible. Actually, his clues. I, I don't know what else he could say. Potter, witch, wand. Gandalf. You just switched movies. Dude. Magic. <laughs> the Washington blank. Gilbert Arenas played for them. So does John Wall or Bradley I was Beal. Say Post, like the Washington Post. I don't. I don't know. The word is wizard. <laughs> wizard. You said witch. You How was I supposed to, the Wiz to get? Palace. How was I supposed to, to get wizard? One. Silly eyelash. From witch. <laughs> and now, it's time for Dorman debates. My name is Ashley. <gasps> Shower punch kids. <laughs> <laughs> now I want that. Welcome to Dorman debates. My name is Ashley Dorman, and this is a debate. And it is one of my favorite debates of all time because I love going to both of these places. Would you rather go to the arcade or go play putt putt? Ooh. 
Ooh, Clay, I'm going to give you putt-putt. Jacob, you get the arcade. Whoever wants to go first gets to go first. Golf's the greatest game ever played. Putt-putt is the more arcade version of that. It's fun. But arcades are more diverse. You can play just about anything in an arcade. Have you ever been to Dave & Buster's? It's amazing. Not only do they have arcade games, but they have virtual reality. They have different sports, such as basketball. They have a baseball game. They even have a golf game. They have so many things for all walks of life. It's more welcoming than just putt-putt. Here's the deal, though. We're talking to people. We're talking to the kids. We're talking to the students. We're talking to families. Which is more economically viable, an arcade or going to play putt-putt with your family? If you're going to Dave & Buster's, which is what you just called out, you're spending loads and loads of cash. Now, on Wednesday I, I, nights. I will say there are quarter arcades, which are great, and those are fun, and those are special. But we live in Myrtle Beach, the land of putt-putt. When I came down here on my senior trip in high school, the year was 2013, oh, came down with my friends. I'm so old. We were staying in North Myrtle Beach, and we decided one night we we're going to go play some putt-putt. And guess where we ended up? The place where they hold the putt-putt masters each and every single year. The greatest, eh, it's not the greatest, but the masters was held there. It's Ashley's actual least favorite place. Yeah, you're you're putting so, yourself in a hole. No, I'm not. Not a hole in one either. Because look, here's the deal with that. Is it Mount Atlanticus? She hates the place with birds. But here's the beautiful thing. In Myrtle Beach, let's be honest, and in most places, there's one, maybe two arcades. But down here, there's pup pup lands as far as the lot I can see. And it's way easier to eat snow cones at a pup pup place than it is at an arcade. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to the snow cone thing. But Wednesday nights at Dave & Buster's games are half off. You should go. I've seen all the power-up cards you have in your car. Good golly. But Way to call me out, <laughs> man. Ashley, big arcade human. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Also big big putt putt human. It's also true. So arcades, honestly, it's the best way to set yourself up on a date too. Because there's no easier way to let your significant other win a game than through an arcade game or through ski ball or through jump shot or through anything. They even have actual Mario Kart at the arcade where you can drive a car in Mario Kart. What is better than that? It's the best game coming to life. It's, it's amazing. Tickles the senses. But there's nothing like hitting that ticket jackpot and that spin roulette on an, in an arcade and getting 1,000 tickets and being able to pick out the kind of overly priced prizes that they have that break after two uses. There's nothing better than getting an LED cactus light for your bedroom that only works once and you spent 1,700 tickets on it when you could have just spent $5 on Amazon. It's amazing. I think you just proved my point. You can play putt-putt and still get the fun little toy. And you get nothing in return. Have you ever had the hole-in-one on 18? At Mount Atlanticus? Uh, wherever. I have. That just gives you free putt-putt. Nothing better than more free putt-putt. You can also get like a PlayStation 4 or an Apple Watch from an arcade. Hey, which, which is Tiger Woods most likely to have more fun at? Probably an arcade. <laughs> <laughs> His job is golf. He probably has to get away from it sometimes. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap this up. You have uh, four words. I'm switching it up. Four words to convince me at the end. Jacob, you get to go first. Variety. Food included. <laughs> I'm trying to choose my fourth word carefully. <laughs> Oh, dang. I should have said just food because it's no birds. <laughs> <laughs> Clay. Family fun. Less technology. Okay. I'm very torn on this because, like they said, I really love putt-putt and I really love the arcade. Now, I'm the type of person that prefers the arcade, like, down towards the ocean on the boardwalk, those are my types of arcades. Like the old school little penny stuff. And they got the clown game that you can actually win. Shout out. Um, but I will have to give it to Jacob because, I mean, 
He explained it way more. He took us there. He talked about prizes and winning and tickets and all the fun games. And even though I do love butt butt, I always get the purple one. Purple ball. That's me. So, got to got to give it to Jacob. Clay, yeah! I need you to be more convincing, man. I said everything I needed to say. That's like when someone tells you to stop being annoying when you're just being yourself. It's just like it hurts so much. It's like, or you look I'm really tired. tired today, and you're like, I feel fine. Thanks. Wow. Hole in one and putt putt. That's everything to me. <laughs> it's everything. <laughs> All right. That was Dorman Debates. I'm Ashley Dorman. That was a debate. And that is the This Gen Show, episode number six. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back soon with another episode. Have a great day. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs>